um, with much excitement and anticipation. And we will announce the awards for this afternoon um, based on our judges' responses. Um, and so we'll jump right in. Um, I will first share the winner of the 2022 People's Choice Award. The People's Choice Award offers an opportunity for the broader community to engage and really rally behind their favorite teams. If you hadn't, have not had an opportunity to view team videos, we invite you to visit our website. The videos will remain posted, though voting is now closed. Um, and we are very pleased to share we had over 4,800 votes for this year's award. And so now with the virtual drum roll, the 2022 People's Choice Award winner is Team Chrysalis from the University of Pennsylvania. And we would love to honor Team Chrysalis. Would you like to say a few words about your work um, and the next steps that you're excited about as you move forward in your innovation? Yes, uh, thank you so much, Ashley. Uh, we're really, really excited to have received this. We've learned so much this year about taking clinical input, interviewing different players in the neonatal health arena um, and translating that feedback into creative solutions. We're really excited to continue developing and improving our product, um, working towards a solution that helps infants and also relieves the burden on all our really hardworking nurses. Um, we're so grateful to have received this award, especially as a team of all women engineers, um, because it really highlights the strong community supporting us um, and believing in our work. Again, we really appreciate it and thank you for this award. Thank you so much and congratulations Team Chrysalis. And again, we invite the audience to please watch Team Chrysalis's amazing work um, on our website. We'll now move to our third place award as voted on by our judges today. And we're pleased to share that in third place is Team Modulo Prosthetics from the University of Pennsylvania. Congratulations team. And we'd love to open up the floor to you to share a few words about next steps in your work. Okay, we, I just wanted to thank everyone at, Rice, at the Rice 360 team for helping us coordinate this and giving us the opportunity to present our ideas here. Really appreciated how the focus of this competition on low resource settings challenges us to create some tangible solutions um, that will be able to help those in and out of low, uh, low and middle income countries. We're excited to continue developing our process and getting to the cancer patients as soon as possible. Wonderful, thank you so much. Congratulations again, Team Modulo. We wish you all the best in your continued work. We'll now announce our second place winner. And we are pleased to share that Team Equinox from Johns Hopkins University is our second place award winner. Congratulations team. And over to you to share your next steps in your work. Um, hi, yes. Uh, so I just wanted to say, uh, give it my genuine thank you to everyone who's made this competition possible. Uh, special thanks to uh, Dana Dardoff and all the judges and coaches uh, who worked tirelessly for this design competition. Um, our team is very specifically excited to participate in this competition because, you know, we are confident that one day we can eliminate this bias um, that plagues dark skin tone patients in low resource settings. Uh, so we will take it on a feedback to improve our design and our plan in the future. So thank you very much for all the support that we have received. Thank you so much and congratulations. We'll all be eagerly watching your work forward and wish you all the best. And we are lastly very pleased to announce our first place winner, Team Baby Beat from the Georgia Institute of Technology. Over to you, team, to share more about your next steps in your innovation. Well, thank you guys so much. Um, we're very honored to receive this recognition as finalists, and we've really, really enjoyed being a part of this competition and learning from so many different uh, voices, clinicians, uh, engineers uh, in different parts of the world. And, um, we hope to continue those connections uh, after this competition. Uh, we really appreciate the, the investment now, and we can always use the, the advice and feedback um, in the future uh, as we try to push heart tone forward. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you. We're going to refine the device, hone that signal, um, and yeah, also want to throw out a thank you to Dr. Kublik uh, and Dr. Stubbs at Georgia Tech who have supported us through this process. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Rice360. Uh, really appreciate it. I'm happy to be Beats. Wonderful. Congratulations, Team Baby Beats. We're all rooting for you um, in your next steps in your process and really excited to see your work move forward. 
And at this time, this concludes our program. I would like to offer a suggestion from our judges that Lydia also mentioned in her remarks. If you would like to connect with any team represented today or also on the People's Choice Award on our website, please email me and I would love to put you in contact with the teams. As Lydia mentioned, there's a lot of power in us working together. So please feel free to reach out if we can help connect you. We want to again express our gratitude to all of the community that made this possible, the student teams, judges, coaches, and once again, thank you to our sponsors, the Stephen W. Lay Family Endowment for Global Health and the Meta Family Foundation. Um, and as Dr. Hansen said in her very inspiring talk about her work with the Dream Warmer, um, global health innovation is like climbing a mountain, and may we all support each other um, in the conviction to keep moving forward. So this concludes our program, Onward and Forward to this amazing community innovating for global health. Thank you so much for joining today. We hope to see you soon. Take care.